Getting started Monday morning. morning. <laughs> We're going to put a fence up around the perimeter of the orphanage complex. We have workers unloading posts. They're carrying posts out to the field site. Posts are going to be every eight foot apart, measuring eight feet between each post and setting a stake. This gentleman here is digging a hole with what we call a machete. They call it a ponga. They use a ponga for a lot of things I've discovered. This is very fertile soil. Even after digging two and a half feet for the corner post, we had still not reached the bottom of the topsoil. Hello! There's Abigail digging with the ponga. Look at her go. Hi, Abigail. Hello. There's Eugene digging. Hey, Phil, what are you doing? I'm digging a post hole with this ponga. And there's the bags of cement, the ballast, and the sand. Brought here by truck. We have to carry water to the wheelbarrows. The Lord has blessed us with water close by. They're mixing concrete. Now they're setting poles. Praise the Lord, right down the road from our property is a school where they equip their students with the Word of God. And they have agreed to accept our children once we have them. As Phil worked on the fence, Abigail, Eugene, and I went to the school where we ministered to the children, and they performed for us to show their appreciation. Time to go back into the classroom now. 
This is Tuesday morning, the second day of fence building. We made really good progress yesterday. We got well over half of the post set in soil, and we got very many of the posts set in concrete. So today we'll be setting corner posts, we'll be cementing them in, and we'll start stringing wire along this side, along the road. There is a roll of barbed wire. We're getting ready to string it around the fence. They're stringing wire all the way around the property. They're turning the corner and going up by the road. This should be a little easier because there's less weeds. Now they just turned the second corner. This is the third leg of the fence. Now they're going down a steep hill. They have to be careful that they don't lose their footing. Now they're going up the steep hill and it's around 200 feet to the road from here. The wire is reaching the stage in the reel where it begins to get tangled a lot more frequently. It takes a lot more care to ensure that no one gets hurt by the barbs. Barbs are very sharp. Each major turn in the fence requires an extra brace pose and a cross brace. The foreman himself is supervising this effort. The neighbors are harvesting the weeds from the ground for their animals. This Y-shaped piece of wood is a Kenyan wire stretcher. Okay, we're stretching the second wire around the first corner. We're going to stretch it up to the gate and then down to where the middle of this fence by the road. Meanwhile, up on the hill, Janice and Abigail are ministering to some friends and neighbors. While Abigail and I were up in the hills, we were giving out clothes and shoes to those that were in need. And this little lady here was really, she had so much character. And look at her, boy, she's just primping. She's so excited about her new clothes. <laughs> but she had some real bad sores on her feet, and so did this young boy. He just broke my heart. His feet were so sore, and we had a pair of shoes, but they were too small for him, and he just crammed his foot inside that shoe. So I promised him that I would bring him some more shoes, and we took those back from him.